Yeah, we're going to do an unboxing today. That's coming up on the next episode of Ham Radio Q&A. Hi, I'm Michael, KV9VBR, your host for Ham Radio Q&A. I'm on a mission to inspire and educate the amateur radio community. You can help us out by hitting that like and subscribing, or keep the mission, or help keep the mission alive with your support over on Patreon. In my last live stream, I talked a little bit about my solar project for the camping trailer. I have a TC Teardrops 5x8 camping, teardrop camping trailer, and my plans are to add a full-time solar system so we can be out for an extended period of time completely off-grid. With full-time solar system, I want to be able to add an elect electric refrigerator cooler and have um, enough energy for portable amateur radio operations. That means right-sizing a solar system can be critical in, in maintaining my power budget. I think the key to a right-sized solar system is in the charge controller. There are a lot of charge controller choices out there, but they really boil down to two different styles, PWM, or pulse width modulation, and MPPT, or multiple point power tracking. For the solar project, I chose an MPPT charge controller from DIY Solar For You. DOI Solar for You designed and makes uh, in the USA high quality, high efficiency MPPT solar charge controllers that are a great choice for home, off grid, or recreational use. When I compared the specs of their products head to head with the others, I was struck by the performance and purchased the Sol Buck Boost 20 amp MPPT controller. So let's open the box and see what's, what it's all about. And be sure to stick around uh, to the end of the video because for a special offer from DIY Solar for you. Box is not very big at all, if you can you can see. It's um, this is a relatively small device, really well packed. Man, it's like a Christmas present almost. So let's get to it. Uh, there we go. Okay. As we see, the Sol a Buck Boost MPPT char Solar Charge Controller, DIYSolarForYou.com, made in Michigan. Uh, these are designed and assembled in the, in the U.S. So, um, really good, really good starting point there. Opening up the box, we've got um, a couple of packing peanuts, which is okay. Now, when I ordered my charge controller, I also ordered a couple of accessories for it. Uh, number one is uh, this uh, charge controller is a uh, highly um, EMI proof. Um, it, it, it has an extremely low uh, RFI, uh, radio frequency interference level. And one of the things they do recommend though, is to add a ferrite. So they got this nice little um, uh, choke here that's pre pre warped the wired, uh, ready to go. Uh, that's uh, an optional accessory. Uh, it's only like five dollars, so a really good, um, really nice add-on. If you're if you're going to use any of these around uh, radios, I'd get you know I'd totally go with the um, with the choke there. It looks like a good job with that. And then also, the second add-on that I purchased is a status indicator. This will tell you the same thing that's on the system status panel, but in a, in a remote location. So uh, this controller is gonna be buried, you know, down into the galley of the, of the trailer. Uh, and I might not be able to see the system status, but I can put this um, panel up in a easy accessible spot. So you can always see, you know, what your input voltages is, are, your output voltage, uh, the battery level, the amperage, you know, things that, just all of the, all of the things you need to know about the controller. So uh, let's pull this out here. Mounting screws. You know, and this comes, and it looks like the status in indicator is already pre-wired into the charge controller. So that's really nice. Um, and it's got five, five feet of cable on it. Uh, this is made out of aluminum. It feels like aluminum. You know, really size-wise, uh, we're talking about something that edge to edge is uh, just under six inches. 
uh, and uh, three three and three quarters. It's approximately one and three quarters deep. So this is small. You know, as if you look at some of these uh, the Chinese charge controllers on the market, they're a bigger package, large heat sinks. Uh, this doesn't require the heat sink at all. It's in a it's in a completely in a metal case. Uh, 12, it'll do 12 volt, uh, 24 volt operation. Uh, you can, uh, one of the nice things about this is, is that you can run, uh, if you run this in uh, 24 volt, you can put panels, two equally sized panels in series up to 700 watts. With, um, in 12 volt, you can run panels in series up to 350 watts. Uh, my plan is to run a single panel, 180 watts, on the top of the trailer, and we'll feed into there. So that'll give me, so in, in bright sunlight, I should be getting about, oh, close to um, 10 or 11 amps, amp hours of power in, in full sun. Uh, should work great uh, charging the battery. And then in low, and then, the, and then if I'm in a shadier situation, hopefully, that'll give me more, um, um, you know, the bigger panel will grab more sunlight so I can get um, a little bit better charge in the in the shade. If you notice, looking at the exterior, you, there is no visible heat sink. Um, one of the features of this charge controller is its high, high level of efficiency. 99% uh, of the power from the panel is turned into um, a, volt, a, a DC voltage and current that is uh, used for charging. So very little of what you've um, got will be turned into um, heat. Uh, so the uh, metal body of the controller itself is going to be sufficient in order to um, read, you know, in order to, to dissipate any, any, the very little amount of heat energy. And it's kind of nice, it's a metal box too. This is all, this is solid metal. Um, so, uh, you know, that's also going to help in uh, reducing uh, EMI or RFI. And uh, there's going to be nothing there that's really going to um, keep it from uh, radiating. Um, let's open up. I'm not going to take these screws apart, uh, but I'm going to open I'll open up the back so we can take a look at the back of the of the controller. Okay, here's the inside of the charge controller, and um, pretty simple, actually. Uh, these are your um, inputs. Uh, solar panel comes in this side. Uh, battery goes out this side. They look well constructed. Uh, large. This is the this is the sign of a DC to DC converter. Will be the um, the large uh, inductor. And really, what the really what an what a um, MPPT uh, charge controller is doing is it's using an inductor, a diode, and a MOSFET. Uh, to, and a MOSFET transistor sort of is, is used as a switch in order to switch between all the in in the in the, uh, in the charging in the charging phase. So so classic classic sign of a of a of a DC to DC uh, charge converter is your is your large inductor and this is a this is a beefy one some capacitors and that's about it and then the, the lo circuit board logic uh, for the display and the control it is all on the other side but um, we're not gonna we're not gonna take fully take that apart I think you can get an idea of its operation here with uh, as I get the panels installed on the trailer, and we'll do some testing to see, you know, what the output is like under a variety of situations. Over on the DIY Solar for You website, there are uh, comparisons between the Sol and competing charge controllers, so you can check them out yourself. Also, if you're interested in purchasing one, DIY Solar for You has provided a coupon code to our viewers 
to receive a 20% discount of the controllers and the accessories on their website. Use the code RADIO20 to receive the discount. I use the code to purchase mine and you can receive that same discount. And that's my first look at the DIY Solar For You Sol 20 Amp MPPT Charge Controller. We'll dig deeper into it as I install it on the trailer. But do you have any questions or comments about the charge controller? We'll leave them in the comments below. I'll filter through the comments and follow up with them. You know, who knows? Yours may end up on our next Your Questions Answered live stream. But for more articles and information and VHF UHF antennas for sale, please check out my website at www.jpol-antenna.com. Your support of this channel drives the production of future videos. You know, support us on Patreon to help keep the mission alive. Give us that thumbs up if you like this video. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button, especially if it's your first time here. That's your best way to be notified when a new video is released. That's it for this time. I'm Michael, KB9VBR. Have a great day and 73.